What's up guys? Hope everyone's doing good. Happy New Year to everyone. I know I'm a little late for that, but I want to say it anyway. Hope everyone had a good holidays and all that stuff. And um, I don't know if you guys have been seeing, I know a bunch of you have, um, I can post community posts now up on, um, you know, on YouTube and stuff. You get comments, questions, things like that. I can give little updates and things. So um, I've been getting some suggestions of things that people would like to see videos on. So um, this is an easy one. I got a request for um just to um see what meters I'm using, you know, for HVAC and refrigeration and my little collection here. I got a few, but um you know my two main ones and then my other ones are more like backup ones. So figured I'd show you guys these, just give a quick explanation of them, and that's about it. So here we go, boys. All right, so here we are. I currently got five in the old collection here. I mainly only use two of them though, but we'll start with this one because this one I never use. I've had it forever. It's just an old old uei multimeter does have its purpose i just really don't ever use it it's dead now i don't even think it'll turn on anymore yeah that needs batteries but i haven't used it in forever but it's always good to have because you never know but then i just got a klein one uh the cl 600 these remind me a lot of the ueis i think uei might actually make these it's not a bad meter um not at all so it's, it's great to have as a backup i think it was only like 70 bucks or something too like at home depot so not bad at all i'm a big klein fan of the hand tools and everything to, as well so and this is my my old dl379 my uei the g2 phoenix one these heads are replaceable this amp probe is actually broken on here broke off so it wouldn't read amps right so still works fine i could replace the head if i want this has been an excellent meter believe it or not for a cheaper meter it's got the magnet built in and everything. I am a big fan of the UEIs. I'd really like to get a, my hands on a, um, the DL429. I want to get one of those at some point. And then this is my newest one. I probably had this for like a year now, but the very simple meter, the Fluke T6600, they do make a thousand one too that measures up to a thousand volts, but I really have no need for that. So it's just all your basics. You got your volts and your amps you know, in your ohms and your continuity. You can take your amps right here. These are nice because this fork, it just slides like this, you know, slide it right over the wire. You get like an instant amp reading. Very nice, basic meter. It's really good though. I'm very, very impressed by it. I, I'm becoming a Fluke fan. I never had a Fluke before. Uh, the next one I would like to get is the 902 FC, uh, the clamp meter. And then my, my trusty old field piece, this is the... Uh, the SC460, another great meter. It's very nice. This thing is actually, these come with a built-in magnet too. It's the only thing I don't like about the Flukes. They charge you like another 50 bucks or something ridiculous for a stupid magnet where it, it should just be built in. I mean, that should just come on every meter. I don't know why they do that, but whatever. But this meter's been great. This has fallen off ladders, many, everything. It's, it's taken a beating, so it's been good. These are all like the mid-size meters. I used to have the um, the Fluke SC, not the Fluke, the Fieldpiece SC640, but it's huge. It's like 14 inches long, 13 inches long. I didn't, I didn't like the size of it. So I'm more like, I like these mid-size, like smaller type meters, I guess you'd say. Just personal preference. And the what was nice about the 640s, it had the same amp clamp and everything on it, but the, the head on it, was like this it wouldn't come off but it would rotate so you could turn it side to side for different angles that you had to get into a unit that that was one thing i really liked about that meter but i ended up selling it and i ended up getting some other tools in this meter with the money i sold that for so but i mean that's basically it guys um you know nothing fancy this suits me well for what i need i don't need anything ridiculous you know but it's always good like i said these are my two main ones these are all just backups now because they're older and whatever but it, you know how it is in this trade it's always nice to have backups because you lose stuff something breaks you never know batteries die whatever so that's it boys that's the old collection right there so show a little bit guys you know nothing impressive nothing special it's just these meters suit me well for what i uh for what i do and they've been through uh they've been through many battles with me if you want to put it that way they a couple like that old this old the old uei one man that thing's uh my old uh, the 379 that thing's been through a couple wars with me god that oh man yeah and i never had an issue cold weather or anything thing is always great it's been 
dropped off ladders, soaking wet, freezing cold, it snow buried in snow, everything. Been a great, great meter. I mean, they really all have, you know. I mean, it's really, really comes to personal preference for what you need to do what you're doing as in part of the trade, you know. I mean, other guys may need other stuff that, you know, read all kinds of millivolts and all kinds of crazy things like that. Like, like I said, I don't need those personally, but you, you never know. It's all what you're doing, you know. And I just um, I want to say again, everyone, thank you for the five five thousand subscribers. We finally made it, boys. Rock on, you know. So. Hopefully when we get up to 5,000 more and said I'll try to post more often. I try, boys. I do, you know, and I'll give a channel update what's going on with that. But for now, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this little short one. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.